Hello again guys. In this second video tutorial on creating resource packs, I want to show you how to add audio files that will replace Minecraft's sound disks and sound effects. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we want to go to Minecraft's original sound files and we're going to use them as reference because when you're adding sound files to a resource pack you want to make sure that they're named the same thing as an existing sound file in Minecraft. That way it'll overwrite that sound. So let's go to our Minecraft directory in app data, roaming, and .minecraft. And then um, let's go to assets. And then also, uh, if you're doing this, this is right now this is around 1.7.4. You're going to want to run 1.7.2 first and the reason for that is because it will create a folder called virtual and then legacy and you'll have all the sound effects. Um, if you are not, if you if you play 1.7 and beyond, or sorry, 1.7.4 and beyond, uh, instead it will create stuff like this and it will be a lot harder to reference. Uh, these files for use in a resource pack so um, so yeah let's go into the virtual folder and let's go to legacy the first thing we want to do is replace some of the records with our own music so let's open up records so to get a record into our resource pack let's open up our main resource pack folder and we'll go to assets Minecraft and in this Minecraft folder we're going to create another folder called sounds and in this folder we're going to create another folder called records so in this records folder now we're going to replace one of these record files that Minecraft uses for its uh, 12 records so what I did was I downloaded a Mozart piece that was part of public domain from Wikipedia. And what we're going to need to do is convert this music to a .ogg file. And to do that I'm going to use a free tool. And it's called Free Studio 13. And you can just go to Google and type that in and download it or I'll put a link in the description. Um, but basically we're just going to go ahead and click and drag this uh, mp3 file into it and we want to convert it into an OGG at the original quality or you can make it a lower quality if you're trying to save on file size and um, I have it set to convert to the desktop so let's click convert and when this is done we can continue okay the file conversion is done so we'll close out of all this and what we will now do is we have on our desktop the Mozart uh, .ogg file and I'm just going to copy it and then we're going to go to our resource pack assets, minecraft, sounds, and then records and we're going to paste it in there. So we're going to replace cat so what I'll do is I'm going to rename this to cat.ogg so now, when I go back, uh, what I'm going to want to do now is open up that resource pack zip file that we created in the previous video, and let's just go ahead and move over the assets into there, and that way we have that now in our our tech or our resource pack. So what we can do is now we'll copy this and we're going to replace the texture pack that we created in the first video to see if we have custom music. So we'll delete this one and paste in the new one. So now let's open up Minecraft and we'll test out our new music disk. Alright, so Minecraft is open now. Let's go to our options, our resource packs, and let's add in our custom resource pack. And we'll click done. So now that it's loaded, let's go to single player 
and go into a new world and I have cat so let's play it awesome so that worked so now we have a way to add in our own music to Minecraft let's take it a step further and uh, replace some of the sound effects for animals, let's say the pig. So we'll go to Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, and we want to create a new folder called, I believe it's Mob, let me double check. Um, let's see, Sound, Mob, yeah. So then we'll go into that uh, Mob folder and let's look up Pig. There we go. And what we want to do is, I have some sound effects that I found online. So let's go ahead and go to my audio folder here. All right, so I have some audio files here that we're going to use to replace the, the current pig ones. And I've got three. So it turns out there's a lot of public domain farting sounds online. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, so let's go to our audio converter again and I'm going to drag those in there and let's convert them to OGG format. All right, and then now we can go to our resource pack and go to the mob folder that we created and let's create another folder called pig and open that up. And then we'll go ahead and put in our pig sound effects that we want to add in. So let's make this one say one and make this say two and we'll make this one say three. So now we'll add these files into our resource pack. So let's go back, uh, let's open up the resource pack and then we want to add in this mob folder here under sounds. So let's go to assets, Minecraft, sounds, and then click and drag in the mob folder. Okay, now uh, let's go back and copy that. And then we're gonna replace the current texture pack once more. So paste. Okay, now let's open up Minecraft again and let's see if those those worked. Alright, so we'll go to single player again and we'll open up a new world. And let's make sure the audio is turned all the way up. And here we go. So you get the point. That's how you would uh, basically replace a sound effect for Minecraft. And you can do this for pretty much anything really. So if you wanted Enderman to go around farting or saying things, uh, there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this. If you want to make the Enderman more creepy, you can find some really cool creepy sound effects for them. And you can do this for, for anything really. If you have some fireworks footage and you want to turn that into a sound file for your own texture pack or resource pack you can do that so yeah if you guys have any questions about this uh, please just put them below in the comments section and thanks for watching take care guys